Welcome to Iraqi Dinar Digest, your go-to channel for all things related to the Iraqi Dinar. Stay informed with the latest updates, expert analysis, and insights into Iraq's economy and currency developments. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just curious, we've got you covered. Subscribe now and join our community as we explore the evolving landscape of the Iraqi Dinar, in a G. R98. If you didn't get ready, it's too late now. But, there's anticipation for a bright and sunny morning. In other news, the G militiaman, Alak, has been diligently working over the past few years on tackling corruption and addressing media rhetoric. It seems that these issues are on the verge of being resolved as he steps in to finish the project, aiming to eliminate the Juro Intel and G Maxi via PDK. In more updates, a parliamentary committee, along with a government team, is drafting a new version of the oil and gas law. Meetings are underway, and progress is being made towards completion. Regarding financial developments, news from the G Militiaman's financial advisor to the Prime Minister brings a positive report. The government is signaling high export capacity, which in turn could boost currency value. Discussions are taking place about the merits of floating versus fixed prices. The advisor leans towards a managed float, seeing it as a balanced approach. Additionally, the Central Bank of Iraq's Financial Inclusion Department announced on Wednesday the creation of an electronic platform to handle complaints from clients of financial institutions. According to a statement received by SAFAC News Agency, the platform aims to automate financial sector operations to reduce reputational risks and build trust between financial institutions and the public. The platform allows for complaints to be submitted electronically via a complaint form link, with the central bank overseeing the process. Complaints must be addressed within one to five working days, depending on their nature and importance. If financial institutions fail to respond within the specified time frame, they will face a fine of 100,000 Iraqi dinars per complaint, for each day of delay. This initiative aligns with the Central Bank of Iraq's Law No. 56 of 2004, which oversees all licensed financial institutions. It is also part of the broader effort to develop institutional performance simplify government procedures by moving to digital transactions, and support economic growth, financial stability, and enhanced financial inclusion amidst the ongoing advancement in the electronic financial industry.